Did you buy a brand new Ethernet cable and figure out your speeds were still terrible? Well, you probably should have watched this video, because in this video we're going to explain to you everything you need to know for buying an Ethernet cable. So what you got to take into account, number one, is your internet speed. If you have gigabit Ethernet, then I would recommend Cat5e Ethernet cord. You can get them for around like 30 euros. If you don't know your internet speed, then do a speed test. We recommend putting your phone or computer right next to the box to get the best speed possible, because it'll just be an accurate if you're all the way in your room and your Wi-Fi box is all the way in the kitchen. Next you have to take in count is the length of the cable. The higher the speed, the shorter the cable. So if you're running long distances, we recommend getting CAD6 or CAD6A, as you can get 10 gigabytes per second up to 55 meters. And if you want to future-proof your network, then, cat, then get CAD6 or higher. You could have one gigabit now, but your network provider could increase that to two, to three, maybe even 20 gigabits in the future. And your network cable won't even support that. Another thing with the speed, with the length, it makes sure it actually reaches where you want it to go. That's very important. If a cable does not reach where you want it to go, you can get a female to female and plug it in either way. Now the only downside of this is that you are gonna have lower speeds. So if you have like a home office in your garden over a long distance and want to put your network cable outside, make sure you get a protected armored one. This is important because it protects it. But make sure that you have the same speed. So you get a higher cat because the longer the distance, the speed goes down, so get like a CAT7 over speed. CAT6, not 7. Now let's go to the categories. CAT5 goes to up to 100 megabits per second. CAT5E goes up to 1 gigabit per second. And if your internet is higher than 1 gigabit per second, then you would need CAT6 Ethernet cable, or higher. So the higher the category means the higher the bandwidth. The higher the bandwidth means you have more devices connected to it at once. So for example, CAT5 has 100 megahertz. Well, CAT8 has 2000 megahertz. This means you can support more devices. So in the video, we hope that you've decided which Ethernet cable is best for you. Like and subscribe.